my name is Lee Harris. Um, I'm originally from the UK, but I'm currently living in Puerto Galera in the Philippines. I've been practicing for martial arts for about 20 years. Uh, in the last few years, I've been investigating Filipino martial arts. So what made me interested in De Campo? I suppose initially, the stories of the Huego Todo, or as they're sometimes called, death matches, was quite interesting. The idea that traditionally, um, at a certain period, uh, Filipinos would uh, arrange to meet up and compete against each other using sticks. Uh, Jose Caballero, the uh, founder of De Campo, is, uh, was, was a well-known um, Juego Todo practitioner, and the stories about his uh, fights and the development of the art interested me. So I'd been looking to train De Campo for quite some time. So what do I like about De Campo? Um, in many ways, what I enjoy about it is its simplicity. When I say simplicity, uh, I, it doesn't mean it's easy, but the fact that the, there are not that many techniques. The fact that De Campo concentrates on predominantly single stick, but there also is a double stick part, which I really like, and the emphasis on the repetition of the striking combinations is something else that I enjoy. So it's quite an offensive art. Offensive art. In many ways, it reminds me of uh, Ji Kune Do, which is another art I've studied. When I say it reminds me, well, the particular, in particular, it's simple, it's direct, uh, and it's not about having thousands of techniques. It's about having a few techniques that you practice many, many times. So I'll talk a little bit more about De Campo for those of you who don't really know anything about it. De Campo is quite unique in the sense that it, it's focused on the use of the stick. Though it's interesting, since I've been training it, I've realized that there is some blade influence on it as well, but maybe that's a topic for another time. But there is no empty hand component, there's no knife, there's no other weapons involved. It's just single stick and double stick. A limited number of techniques and a lot of repetition. Another feature of it, which is has some similarities with the uh, Jeet Kune Do, or at least the, the latter stage Jeet Kune Do that I studied, is the emphasis on broken rhythm, or you, if you want to call it, half beats. So there's a lot, it's the ability to hit in between the beats. Maybe, for example, what would be one, two becomes one and, two, two hits in, a, in one beat, or three hits in two beats. So it's that speed that makes it quite a, an effective art. To continue on that theme, one thing I've discovered since training it is that uh, usually the initial attack is to the, uh, the nearest target. Again, that it has similarities with Jeet Kune Do. I'm not saying it's only the Jeet Kune Do, but that's one similarity. Um, nearest weapon, sorry, the weapon hitting the nearest target. It doesn't mean that in De Campo we don't we only go for the hand, but often that's the initial strike. It's whatever's nearest. It could be the, the leg, it could be the hand, but generally speaking, it would be the hand. That's what I understand so far. What have I got from De Campo? Um, although I had some background in uh, Filipino martial arts before, I found the, the repetition of the striking patterns very useful for me. I think my, my, uh, both my single and my double stick have improved, particularly uh, just, but well, in terms of my fluidity, the repeti repetition really is very useful. So another thing that I found, uh, I think, has been useful and interesting for me anyway, is the use of body shifting. The, it's the, uh, the ability you, to be in and out of range just by the shifting of the body. I, it's uh, something quite unique, for, well, at least in my experience, something quite unique. Uh, that, that the use of the, I know the, the footwork and the body shifting make it far more um, sophisticated than it appeared at the beginning to me. It's been great for me because I, I find it quite useful to have video. And there's an online course, a De Campo online course. So it's great for me because I'm really not the quickest learner in some ways. So having the ability to study with a teacher and then go back and check it with the videos, revise things has been really pretty good, to say the least. The structure of De Campo is actually very logical. 
Uh, it has an elementary part, a high school and a college part. So at the beginning, like many Filipino systems, it starts off with an abecedario, which is a numbering system of the different angles. So it's interesting because even from the, from the like many systems, as I mentioned, it starts off with the basic angles of attack. And then we move on to various combinations or techniques, both from an open, a beata, and a closed position, serrada. So there's a lot of development, almost development on both sides of the body from the beginning. When you move on to the high school, um, that was an eye opener for me, just because I didn't realize, or I didn't know about the double stick work. I found it really refreshing, the double stick work, because it's actually very practical. It's not merely double stick work for the sake of developing both sides of the body and coordination, as it can be in some, some previous FMA training I'd had, but it's very um, combative double stick work. Elementary, high school, and college. So you see a very logical progression with combinations that uh, become uh, more sophisticated and also more demanding in terms of coordination. When you get to the college, when you finally get to the college, uh, the combinations are particularly interesting. They're very practical, um, but they, it's almost like building a house where you have to have a firm foundation to begin with, otherwise the, uh, the, later, the latter parts don't make any sense. So it really is a logical way to approach learning a uh, system. College is interesting because if you talk about the different combinations, if you, it's, quite, as I, it's quite systematic where you have a number, but a number doesn't correspond necessarily to only one strike. So there are multiple strikes can be contained within one combination. Uh, so if you very quickly find that your hand speed or your stick speed has to improve. Uh, there's also the, just the whole thing of fitting in uh, multiple strikes into less and less beats, which is demanding but, but very interesting. I usually divide martial arts into three uh, areas, art, sport and self-defense or self-protection. The interesting thing about the Campo for me is well, one of the interesting things about the campo is that the the use of the single stick and even the double stick, but particular, but the use because of its simplicity, the lack of emphasis on blocking. I find it it's you, you can pick up be it a, a baton, uh, a heavy torch, a stick. I think it it's really got quite a lot of practicality in terms of self-defense skills. Also, um, especially with modern um, safety equipment, I think that the campo lends itself really well, which not surprisingly, lends itself really well to uh, competition uh, stick sparring, which I think is an important part uh, of developing yourself as a martial artist. It's actually a hell of a good workout. Because of the, the emphasis on the repetition of the strikes, the speed, the broken rhythm, and the intensity, it really is a high intensity workout when you start seriously working the, the combinations and the footwork. Um, also, it is an art form as well. I f I'm really attracted to it because like many Filipino martial arts, the history behind it uh, gives me a link to something about Filipino culture, the past of the Philippines, and living in the Philippines now, it's a great thing to be uh, exploring Filipino culture through an art with such an interesting history. So, thanks for for listening to my thoughts on De Campo. Um, in the future we might be producing, we will be producing rather, some more videos looking in more depth about De Campo. But as an introduction and my introductory thoughts, these were some introductions and some introductory thoughts I'd like to share with you today. Thanks again.